Hi. What is my startup worth is one of the burning questions that all entrepreneurs, when they are beginning to raise money, ask themselves. You don't want to sell yourself too short, and yet you don't want to seem unreasonable to investors and not be able to raise money at all. So uh, there's a lot of misconception in terms of what evaluation of a company with no financial history and no product on the market represent, right? So there is a um, f uh, school of thought that um, at that stage, startups are like real estate. It's more about the team and um, how desirable they are in terms of the investment in them and their um, intelligence. Uh, and the ability to execute than it is about the business plan. My view is different. I think the strength of the team translates into how good the business plan is and whether uh, or not they're able to defend the execution strategy that is presented in the business plan. And uh, it is my view that evaluation of an early stage startup and a lady company is the value of its business plan, okay, for the next five years and beyond because. Um, when you calculate the terminal or exit value of the company um, at the uh, last projected year, and this is what you were taking into account. So um, I want to demystify the process of what evaluation of a startup represents, right? Yes, all of the factors that angel investors consider are important. The team is important, the market size, the product readiness, the traction, and all of these factors into okay how good the business plan is and other factors factor into the risk which is the discount rate that is applied to discount how much cash a company is going to generate so in the end of the day when you create a quantitative representation of your business plan which is a financial model and you evaluate the risk that your company has in terms of the discount rate you are uh, quantifying all of the factors soft factors that um, in angel investors usually consider when they make investments into early stage ventures. But so when you um, think about your business plan, you now understand that the more work you put into it, the more you think about it, not just from the purely technical perspective, but also from the money making perspective, the more you de-risk your company, you increase the value of your business plan and you increase your company's valuation. Sometimes you discover that you need to change the strategy even before you start executing because when you evaluate the financial feasibility of your ideas, it's just not there. Sometimes you think that you discover that your goals are too um, high or too low and uh, this is the process that is very important in order for you to come back down to earth, okay, to correct the mistakes before you make them and uh, to a solid foundation for your business that you can build upon. So to learn how to formulate assumptions for different business models, I recommend that you take course number two on the Startup Station's website and to learn about our curriculum, how to model and value real estate ventures, go to www.startupstation.com slash p slash courses. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.